like months before they said, oh, oh by the way, yeah, it was almost like, by the way, we're doing that now, you know, it's not a kind of big announcement, it's like, yeah, you, you better start. So, uh, so it, yeah, it could happen when we get back on Monday that there's emails waiting for us, you know, for all I know, yeah, that'd be great. But uh, it's brilliant to know that there's an audience there, that there's people who will kind of take another chance on us after records, and, you know, so that, that's cool. And talking to people this, this weekend, it's been interesting to hear a lot of people say that they had the eleven. For understandable reasons, they haven't bought the single this year. They're holding out for the trade. Um, but they've heard good things about records, so uh, you know, hopefully we'll, there'll be another sort of wave of support for the series when the trade comes out in a few weeks. In first week of September, with tons of extras. Come on, one million. Come on, it's a DVD special. It kind of is, really. Yeah, I mean, it's like you know, I can't remember how many people have heard, but it's a ten-page short story by, by James, and there's. Two profiles, there's um, a Josh Burton pinup which is going to blow your mind, there's a little page of kind of sketches and doodles that me and Josh have done over the course of the series, and there's Visitron's Bats, which is the 25 things that maybe you didn't know. We probably heard some of them today, but not, not all of them that you didn't know about records, and lots of kind of tidbits like that, so it's, uh, it's cool. And we're very lucky and very grateful to Justin and IDW especially for putting the work in to kind of give it to us as well. Give it to you. Probably should go back to work now. Why are you saying? Uh, you mentioned that Skylink was possibly going to be used as yes. some sort of transport ship. Awesome. Any plans on Skylink cropping up in the ongoing spotlight scene? Well, not, not that I know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not his biggest fan. I don't dislike him, but he's, um, he's a strange character uh, and, and with, with a lot of potential. So I, I was only through necessity that my mind kind of records need a ship. It's Transformers, it's a ship that transforms. Oh god, it's Skylinks. So uh, that was kind of the way I was going with it. So I, I don't, I don't have any plans for Skylinks, but it's, it's kind of funny that he hasn't showed up yet though as well. So that's, that's kind of true. Yeah, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well thanks everyone. I think that's the. Any yeah. more questions for Michael James? Um, just a question for you both. Uh, sure, Ralph. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, all those great Marvel characters there, and I just want to know when we'll be getting the Spotlight Scouting special. Uh, where, where we can see a music special. The, the, no every time you close your eyes, Ralph, every time a child smiles, every time a, the wind blows through the leaves, Spotlight Scrounge is there. That's the most beautiful I, thing I've heard all <laughs> Absolutely. Well, well, the, the only thing, really, I, I know that what stopped, what stopped the, the Scrounge Spotlight is just the sheer size, the, the number of issues you need to do is story justice. Oh, so it's, it's not a paper in the world to accommodate the print run that it would need to meet demand, you know, so... You know, it's, it'll coincide with the Scrounge movie that comes out in 2013. Oh, Scrounge. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's up. It's, why is there always Storm Trooper? So ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to give a backhand to Nick Roach and James Roach.